the next thing I wanted to talk about is tax issues. Um, unlike, you know, like any transaction, um, you have to understand the tax issues. There are a couple of specific tax issues that you should consider when structuring and evaluating an oil and gas transaction. First is to, it's a due diligence issue, but also a potentially uh, another, just a, other issues to consider, which is oil and gas transactions often have tax partnerships. Um, and tax partnerships will allow you to allocate profits and losses of a specific group of wells or wells um, other than on a pro rata basis among the owners. And so this often occurs in a drilling carry situation where one party may be paying a disproportionate share of the costs and then maybe receiving a disproportionate share of the benefits up front. Um, that may be accomplished through a tax partnership. Um, the thing you need to remember about that is that those group of assets that are subject to the tax partnership, um, those assets must be segregated and a separate f uh, tax return must be filed. Now, these tax partnerships are not usually separate legal entities, but just uh, tax fictions, so to speak, within a group of assets. Um, but when you're structuring a transaction, you may want to figure out if there are any, any tax partnerships on a potential acquisition target, um, who the parties are to the tax partnership, what assets are affected by the tax partnership. All of these things are very important for both structuring purposes and for integration and post-closing um, treatment. Um, you know, when the tax partnership may be terminated is another issue that you may be of particular interest.